Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a quick rat cage tour and I'm going to show you all the accessories that I'm using to keep all my uh, rats happy in there. So as you can see this is my cage. It's the Savic Royal Suite 95, the double version as you can see. Um, and I really love this cage. It's perfect for all my rats because it is so large. I think according to the uh, cage size calculator it says it can hold up to 12 rats. 12 might be maybe a bit excessive, but for the four that I have, it's absolutely perfect. So as you can see, this cage has a metal border going all the way around the cage, which is perfect because it stops all the dirt from falling to the ground. So it keeps everything very nice and uh, clean. And also a good thing is that, as you can see, it has these wheels down the bottom. Um, so it's easy to roll it around if you want to move it to a different place or if you want to put it somewhere else, you can easily do that. And another very nice uh, feature about this cage is that it has the storage space uh, down below, which I use to keep my uh, storage container with all my extra spare uh, blankets and, um, and hammocks and hammock clips and that sort of uh, thing. So about the cage itself... You can open it by pressing these two little things together and just pulling it open, which is perfect because we all know that rats like to escape. And with this kind of door, they definitely will not be able to get out on their own. So I'll open the door. And as you can see, I have loads of hammocks in there. Hello, Misty and Poppy. Um, so my rats prefer to be up in the air, they like to sleep in hammocks, they like to uh, spend most of their time here when they're in the cage, so that's why I have so many of them hanging around. Um, this is their all-time favorite hammock. It used to have this nice fleece all the way on the inside as well, but as you can see, they completely destroyed it, they made holes in it, so they made it more homey and more nice for, uh, for them to sleep in. So this one is called, I think, the Fluff Bum. I got it from a website called the Rat Warehouse. Uh, this tube is from the same uh, web shop. And this uh, hammock from the same place as well. So they're all very nice. They use them all. See, that's why they make holes in the hammock. <laughs> Poppy. So, and uh, I definitely recommend this Sputnik as well for anybody who keeps rats because they absolutely love to sleep in here. Either one rat alone or all of them together because they come in different sizes. This is the extra large one. They absolutely love it. Down the bottom, I have this uh, stone. It's just a basic dial that I found in a store, which they like to uh, use when they're warm, to sleep on, to keep themselves cool. I have two little houses that I found just in, in normal pet shops. As you can see, they like to chew the wood around them. It's safe, so it's fine. The little tree, they kind of chew up as well. Uh, but they like to go in there. Sometimes they like to sleep in there, but they especially like to stash all their food in there. Like, I have dry uh, food for them, nuggets, and especially Poppy likes to take them and bring them all into the house, into a corner, and then she just piles them all up. So, whatever she likes. <laughs> this, um, this little uh, platform, they don't really use. They just, in all honesty, they just pee on it, which is why... It has so many of the white spots, the, the, the dye of the, the platform kind of went away a little bit because of what they're doing on there, but I don't mind, it's clean. And then they have this little ladder as well, which I like to put uh, socks over to, to protect their feet so they don't get hurt. Um, and these are just basic over-the-knee uh, socks that you can find in any store, and I just uh, pull them over to, uh, to protect the ladder. Here you can see um, we have another ladder to go down to the bottom floor. Another good thing about this cage is that you can split it into two halves. So let's say if you have boy rats and girl rats and you want to keep them separate, then you can just bring up this piece of uh, this ladder and you can attach it with this little hook here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hook here. 
where you can attach the ladder to. If you do that, then you have two separate cages. You can keep your rat separate, or, or if you have a rat that, that prefers to be, I don't know, on its own, that doesn't get along with the rest, you can just split them up, and then they each have a very nice uh, sized cage on their own, because even just one size or one half is very big for, for a few rats. So I'll open the second half, and again, you can see that I have several hammocks in here. This one I really love. I found it on um, an Etsy uh, web store. I think it was called the Fluff Boutique. Um, and I uh, I saw these hammocks. Well, they were in the, in the shape of fish or they have them in the, in the shape of, as you can see, lizards with little hands and dorsal fin and then the eyes. So I think it's really nice. And I contacted the seller because she sold these, but she sold them as um, hideouts to put on the bottom of the cage. So I contacted her and I asked her if she could uh, maybe attach some loops on them so I could use them as hammocks because my rats prefer to be um, high up in the cage. And she said there was no problem. And within a week she had them sent out and made. And it's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, they've used it a lot as well because they ripped up the inside like they like to do. So they sleep on the top. They sleep in the belly of the beast. So I really like it then it's, it's really nice when they're using it. Here we have Trixie. Hello, Trixie. Hello, Trixie. She's just relaxing. Huh. So this hammock I got from, uh, I think it's coming from Zooplus, which is the same website where I got the actual cage from. So um, this they like to use as well. As you can see, especially Trixie is a big fan of those kind of open tube uh, hammocks. Ooh, tired. And here I just have another uh, hammock that, to be honest, they don't really use this a lot. Sometimes they do, but they especially use it if they want to climb up from the side. They get on here and then from here they get onto this uh, this hammock. So, but I think it looks uh, nice. And then again, I have the sock over the ladder. Here I have some more dry food. This is uh, a different type. I gave them uh, two different types. So they have some variation, and if they want this this type, they have to come downstairs in the cage, so it gives them some exercise as well, if they want it. And then I have another big house, again, that they like to go and stash some food in, as you can see, and eat in. I have a tube. Hello, Lucy. Lucy is a big fan of the tube. I have it like this, and then it goes all the way around um, to the back. Let's see if I can show you all the way around to the back of the house because they like to go in here as well. They like to go in these tubes and they like to sleep in them as well, especially little uh, Lucy here. Um, and then here just another last uh, hideout where they like to go to eat, stash their food and that kind of stuff. And then, of course, last but not least, I have um, two water bottles, one on each side. Uh, just to make sure that if one of them breaks, at least to them, they have a spare uh, water bottle. So I'm always certain that they will uh, that they will have water to drink and that they that they won't run out of it. So um, this is my cage. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know, and then I will be happy to answer them. Thank you. Bye.